Good day, Dave. Good day, Richard. How Great are you? See. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah. So, pretty special day today. Very special day. This is the first time that both Zoos Victoria and Taronga Zoo have brought up large numbers of eggs for release back into the wild. Dr. David Hunter has been working with this species for over 15 years. And here they are, the southern corroboree frog. It's hard to believe, but there may only be 50 to 100 left in the wild. This is due to a pathogen uh, called the amphibian chytrid fungus that was introduced into the Australian environment, we think um, sometime during the 1970s. And the thing about this pathogen is that it's actually causing amphibian declines and extinctions all around the world. In, that, in fact, they think several hundred amphibians may have been already driven to extinction due to this disease. The other main reason is habitat destruction. Um, habitat destruction is certainly um, one of the most re uh, biggest reasons why frogs are in decline. So today is all about accessing remote locations to put southern corroboree frog eggs that have been bred in captivity into the wild. Hillsville Sanctuary, Melbourne Zoo and Taronga are the three main facilities breeding southern corroboree frogs at the moment. So we're here sorting out our eggs and we've got the eggs in here because it's a cooler room in the hut. In terms of our operation for today, um, being able to use a helicopter to access some of the remote sites and having the pools as warm as they'll get through um, so the solar radiation, um, this is perfect for, for what we need to do. So here we have all the, the eggs that have been produced at the zoos uh, this year and, and they're about to go in the chopper for their flight out to a couple of the sites where the tubs are set up. So this is a, uh, a breeding area for the southern corroboree frog and this is the, one of the main areas where we're doing our reintroduction. Once the eggs go into this water, that then stimulates them to hatch and then there's all the other food and requirements for the tadpoles in these tubs and they can then happily um, grow and develop through to metamorphosis. We've just um, put 50 eggs in this tub and then we'll go down to another tub and release another 50. Once we were finished there, it was back on board to fly to the next release site. I feel very confident that in five to ten years time, um, I could be standing out here during the breeding season and we'd be listening to a breeding chorus of crabby frogs. I feel very confident that that's what we're going to see.